At the start of the pandemic, I had been through an awful time following the sudden death of my sister. I was thankful that it happened before the start of the restrictions as we had a normal funeral service. At the announcement of the first lockdown, I was living and working in co-winning as a tutor and running group sessions for children and adults. I have two children and my youngest was about to start his exams in fourth year at his academy and my eldest was studying successfully at college. I was still in a time of mourning and supporting the wider family, working and helping my children preparing for exams and in their daily lives. My husband was working full time at his job in Glasgow and commuting. The first lockdown was announced with immediate effect at the end of March 2020 and my life suddenly changed. I could not go out to work face to face and said to all the students I worked with to class it as an extra long Easter break and that I would keep in touch. And then a few students and younger children's parents asked if I would run online lessons and I agreed. However, I had to upgrade my technology, buying a new computer at a time where all technology and office furniture was selling out everywhere, and then download Zoom and Teams and I asked my family to do test sessions with me to learn how to use these online meetings and plan how to deliver the lessons and keep them interesting and fun, yet challenging. My husband's workplace closed for the first two weeks for a deep industrial clean and he had to work from home. I was accustomed to being home alone some days and there were suddenly four of us at home, each on a computer working or studying. And I was thankful that we could afford the technology to enable this and that we each had a space to work from. I hated the first few weeks of lockdown as it was a challenge to get used to everyone being home at the same time. My husband told me to do what I normally did, but of course you couldn't go out to do anything, so I was a little worried that my husband would think all I do with my days is drink coffee and watch movies, as that's what I did in the Easter holidays with nowhere to go and no one to see. It was difficult not being able to see family and to meet up with friends or even go out for a meal or go to the pool. What was more challenging was the lack of products available in the shops and supermarkets. It was ridiculous how people panic bought, but it made me creative and I made my own hand sanitizer and face masks. I also made creative meals as I could not get certain foods or ingredients, so family meal times could be complex. I was fine as I'm vegetarian and I found that all the foods left in the supermarkets were vegetarian and vegan. We actually found that we could get most household items easier in our local corner shop. After the Easter break, the schools and colleges never went back and my youngest son said he and his friends had been discussing online how the exams were never cancelled in two world wars but were now cancelled in a pandemic. It was a stressful period as no one knew what would happen with the exams and my youngest was working towards getting into university. We found that our son's school was good at communicating with parents and delivering the online lessons. One bonus of the first lockdown was the fabulous weather we had, so we spent a lot of time outdoors, walking in the local area, eating al fresco in the garden and drinks in the garden. Our garden became a place of celebration when I had a big birthday and so did my friend from my university days. I bought a gazebo, put a patio heater inside and decorated it with banners, balloons and bunting. And we had a few socially distanced birthday lunches and drinks there with our seats two metres apart. Winter lockdowns were different, but I still enjoyed them. I rediscovered jigsaw puzzles and had winter evenings sharing a bottle of wine with my husband doing a side of the jigsaw each. 
Christmas shopping was saved by being able to order online and get delivery to the recipient. Throughout the two years, I have had Saturday night soirees online with university friends, each of us with a drink and lots of topics to chat about which have helped us to stay sane. The only low point was the fact that I contracted COVID twice, once very recently, despite being fully vaccinated. And my family have had it too. All the wider family were concerned about us, but we managed to get through and we got food shopping delivered and ensured that we got plenty of rest. I enjoyed the lockdown that we had as it helped me to recover from the emotional distress of bereavement and I'm grateful to the families that I work with and the adults too for supporting me online and now that we are recently face to face. My youngest son is now at university and he and fellow students boast that they have got into university with sitting the minimum of exams. The approach to Christmas now in 2022 had been a social whirlwind for me, meeting and visiting friends and family, exchanging gifts and seasonal greetings, and I feel hopeful for 2023.